The Evergreen Game is a famous chess game, won by Adolf Anderson against Jean Dufresne in 1852. This was probably an informal game. At the time, there was no formal title of «world champion». But the German mathematics professor Adolf Anderson was widely considered to be the best player in the world after winning the first major international chess tournament in London in 1851. Though not in the same class as Anderson, Jean Dufresne, a popular author of chess books, was also a strong player. It is usually assumed that the game was played in Berlin, where Dufresne was resident and Anderson was a frequent visitor, but no details of the circumstances of the game were provided in the original publication in the September and October 1852 issues of Deutsche Schockzeitung. Beginning with Howard Staunton in 1853, the game has been extensively analyzed over the years particularly the critical positions before and after White's remarkable 19th move, 19, Rad 1. Although defensive resources for Black have since been found, Anderson's combination remains much admired. Following Anderson's death in 1879, Wilhelm Steinitz published a tribute in the field in which he annotated Anderson's two most famous games, the Evergreen and the Immortal Game against Lionel Kieseritzky. Annotating the famous move 19, Rad 1, Steinitz wrote, "...an evergreen in the laurel crown of the departed chess hero." thus giving this game its name. The game White, Anderson Black, Dufresne Opening, Evans Gambit 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. B C four B C five four B four The Evans Gambit, a popular opening in the nineteenth century and still seen occasionally today. White gives up material to gain an advantage in development point four B X B four five C three Ba five six D four E X D four seven zero to zero D three C diagram Black attempts to slow down White's rapid development by depriving the Queen's Knight of its preferred C three square and forcing White to spend a tempo capturing the pawn. This move was favored by Dufresne, but today it is considered inferior. Most popular today is 7. NGE7, in order to answer 8.CXD4 or 8, ing 5 with 8. D5. Other alternatives include 7. .DXC3, the risky, compromised defense, and 7. D6.8, QB3. Immediately attacking the F7 pawn. Fighty Master Graham Burgess suggests 8, re1 instead.8. QF6-9. E5 QG6. White's E5 pawn cannot be taken, if 9. Nx e5, then 10, re1 d6 11, bg5, when 11. Qf5 11. Qg6 12, nx e5, dx e5 13, rx e5 plus wins the bishop 12, nx e5 wins the knight if the knight is recaptured with 12. 
dot dx5 then 13 qb5 plus followed by 14 rxe5 plus wins 10 re1 c diagram nge711 ba3 b5 Rather than defending his own position, Black offers a counter-sacrifice to activate his A8 rook with tempo. Burgess suggests 11 A6 instead, to allow the B pawn to advance later with tempo.12, QXB5 RB8 13. QA4 B flat 6 Black cannot castle here because 14, bxe7 would win a piece, as the knight on c6 cannot simultaneously protect the knight on e7 and the bishop on a5.14. nbd2 b flat 7 Black must castle without delay.15. Ne4 qf5 a poor move which loses a tempo. 15. Point zero to zero sixteen. Bxd3 also gives White a very dangerous attack. Nishtot, 1961. Better was 15. D2, 16, Nexd2, O, O, Lasker, although White still has a clear advantage. 0.16. Bxd3, Qh5, 17. Nf6 plus? A dramatic sacrifice, although several commentators have pointed out that 17, Ing 3 Qh 6 18, Bc 1 Qe 6 19, Bc 4 wins material in a simpler way. Or 18, Nf 5 and White has a clear edge. The Chessmaster computer program annotation says. This sacrifice is not without danger, as Black now obtains an open G file for counterplay. 17. Gxf6 18. Exf6 Rg8 19. Rad 1. C diagram. A somewhat controversial move, which has been both exalted and criticized over the years. It sets a deep trap, which Black walks into. In Common Sense in Chess 1895, the then world champion Emmanuel Lasker praised it as, "...one of the most subtle and profound moves on record." However, probably influenced by the analysis of Paul Lipke which revealed defensive possibilities for Black, he later criticized the move, saying that 19, b4 would have won relatively easily. Lasker's analysis turned out to be faulty, however. Analysis by Jacob Murray and German Fridstein published in the Soviet magazine 64 in 1975, found that after 19, B4 QH3, 20, G3 Rx G3 plus 21. HXG3 QX G3 plus 22, KH1 BXF2 23, BXE7, Lasker's 23, Re2, is refuted by 23. ND4, 23. QH3 plus, 24, NH2 BXE1 25, RXE1 QH4, 26, QD1. NXE7 27, BXB7 QXF6 It is unclear whether White is winning. Subsequent analysts such as Zaitsev and Kasparov have agreed with this assessment. 19 QXF3 Who would have played anything else here? Lipke, 1898
White cannot play 20.GXF3 since the G2 pawn is pinned by the rook on G8. Black now threatens to take either on f2 or g2, both major threats to the white king, but Anderson has a shattering resource available. Dissatisfied with the lack of analysis in the game's original publication, Howard Staunton published a detailed analysis of several of Black's alternatives in the Chess Player's Chronicle in 1853. Staunton analyzed 19 Ne 5, 19 D6, 19 Bc5, 19 Rxg2 plus and 19 Qh3, concluding that black was lost in all lines. This was the accepted view for many years, until the strong German master Paul Lipke published analysis in the May and June 1898 issues of the Deutscher Schockzeitung. Lipke recommended 19, RG4, for Black, concluding that it offered Black excellent drawing chances with best play. Lipke's main line went 19, RG4 20, BC4 QF5, 21, RxD7. KxD7 22, Ne5 plus Kc8 23, Nxg4 Nd5 24, Qd1 Nd8 25, Re5 Bxf2 plus 26, Kh1 Nf4 27, H3 and now either 27, Qb1 or 27, Nxg2 will probably draw for Black. Analysis published in the early 1930s by O. Hopp and H. Heckner found a win for White after 25, BD3, instead of 25, RE5. However, Black can also improve with 24, NXF6. Kasparov. Zaitsev's 21, Rxg2 plus rather than 21, Kxd7 also appears to be sufficient for a draw. Hopp and Heckner also found a win for White after 20, C4 Rf4, Lipke 21, Bg6. Better as 20, BD4, Zaitsev, 64, 1976, or 20, RxG2, Kasparov, 20, Re4 has also received renewed attention as an attempt for White to gain the advantage. The final assessment of 19, RG4 remains unclear. Most analysts have followed Staunton in rejecting 19, RxG2, on account of 20, KxG2 Ne5 21, QxD7, however, Ij. Good contended that after 21, KXD7 22, BG6 plus K6 23, BXH5 RG8 plus 24, KH3. N7 G6 25, BG4 plus KXF6 26, NXE5 NXE5 27, B7 plus KXE7 28, RXE5 plus KF6 White does not have a clear win in the endgame. In 1958, analysis by readers of the Shock Echo came to the conclusion that 19, BD4 and 19, QH3 are even better than 19, RG4 and sufficient to force a draw. 19, BD4 was also found independently by Zaitsev. This view is endorsed by Burgess, who quotes the lines A 19, BD4 20.CXD4 QXF3 21, 
B4RX G2 plus 22, KH1RXH2 plus 23, KXH2 QXF2 plus N B19, QH320, BF1 QF5, not analyzed by Staunton 21, BD3 QH3, repeating moves in each case point two zero. RXE7 plus NXE7? This loses instantly to a very attractive mate in 4. 20, KD8 would put up more resistance, but White should win after 21, RXD7 plus KC8 22, Road 8 plus KXD8 if 22 RXD8 23. GXF3 if 22 NXD8 23 QD7 plus KXD7 24 BF5 plus K8 25 BD7 hash Staunton 1853 23 BF5 plus QXD1 plus Rubenstein 1921 Another way is 23 B2 plus however white must play accurately in this case after 23 ND4 24 BXF3 BXF3 25 RXD4 plus leads to a probable draw after 25 BXD4 26 QXD4 plus KC8 27 QD3 BXG2 28 F3 BH3 plus 29, KF2 RB 630, QXH7 RG2 plus 31, K3 B6 Levenfish, 1959. White must instead play 25, G3, Nishdot, 1961, BXD1 26, QXD1 with a boring but winning endgame Kasparov, it is unclear whether the following moves were actually played, or whether Anderson simply announced mate, a common practice at the time. The Deutsche Schockzeitung where the game was originally published simply said white mates in four moves, without providing the actual moves. Point two one QXD7 plus KXD7 22 BF5 plus double checks like 22, BF5 plus are powerful because they force the king to move. Here it is decisive point two two K eight or twenty two KC six twenty three BD seven hash point two three BD seven plus KF eight some sources give twenty three KD eight as Black's move with the same reply twenty four BXE seven hash point two four BXE seven hash one to zero Savili Tartakower commented a combination second to none in the literature of the game Tartakower and Dumont one thousand nine hundred seventy five to thirty five Topic See also Immortal Game, also won by Anderson List of chess games <laughs>